But just a bit of a word on Manchester City. They played excellently in this game, didn't they? They went behind to a Mo Salah goal, but did not look like relinquishing a defeat to Liverpool at all. And one man in particular, Miles. Ah, Jack, as you call him, Jack Grealish. Um, is this still your Jack now? Is this performance man against against Liverpool for City probably his best in a City shirt so far? Do you think he was everywhere? I think much to your displeasure, I did say to you at the weekend. I just really hope Man City win the Champions League this year, so Grealish can go. I've won it all. I can go back to Villa now. <laughs> Keep dreaming, yeah, mate. He he was phenomenal. He's absolutely brilliant. I mean, let's be totally honest. It's easy for anyone to look phenomenal when they're coming up against this Liverpool defence, particularly if you're going to play against Trent Alexander-Arnold, but. He was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, he looks like he's finally settled into a system. Since the World Cup, he's just been electric. I think it's his eighth assist in that time now. And this is what happens under Guardiola. He's not the first attacking or wide player we've seen move to Man City and take some time to bed into a system. We saw the same thing happen with Mares, Bernardo Silva. It, it's hard to go from being a star creative player at one club to fitting into such a thought-through system as Man City have. And he said that himself, but we're now starting to see the results of it. Now, let's be honest, he's not the sharpest tool in, in the box, is he? So we don't expect him to necessarily pick these things up as quick, but you see the absolute opposite now, that he's learnt from a great coach. He's learnt from really top players around him, like Kevin De Bruyne. You can see they've got a really good chemistry and relationship. When De Bruyne provides the assist for Grealish in this game, the celebration of De Bruyne alone shows you what this Man City team are really fighting for right now and I still think the league is Arsenal's but Man City are definitely going to put up a hell of a fight and with Grealish in the kind of form he's in now they've got one of the league's best players to, to help them yeah. do it absolutely they've scored four goals against a Liverpool side without Erling Haaland like that shows the depth they've got the, the talent they've got and how much fight they've got left in them absolutely yeah, the performance from uh, Grealish was such an all-round performance. He even ended up stopping a clear goal-scoring opportunity for Salah, didn't he? It's a crucial never, moment in the game. Never saw him do that before, I'll be totally honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. Um, I think there's this kind of um, this this feeling that, that Grealish has had to restrict his game a little bit since joining Man City because Pep Guardiola is so meticulous. But what I saw in this game was a Jack Grealish playing, yes, with discipline, but also loads of freedom. And thinking with his football brain, and you might say he's not the sharpest tool in the box, from a, but from a football perspective, yeah, he is. he's so switched on to his surroundings. And I think he now realises that what Pep Guardiola wants from him is just somebody who thinks with this 360 football vision, but doesn't go too far out of line. And this game was a perfect example, I think, of, of Jack Grealish actually comfortable in his surroundings for the first time in a while. Uh, yes, and it was good yeah. to see. He's like the anti-Ben White. He loves football and, and just wants to be a part of football all of the time. So it was nice because I think scoring was a big thing for him in this game because he wants to add goals to his game at City. And the way he played, he deserved it. And he, he saw him start to take a few efforts as he got more and more confident in the game. Yeah. So the fact that it worked out for him, it's brilliant. You can't begrudge him. Dave, have you um, been impressed with Grealish's form since the World Cup? Because I think his stats stack up as probably one of the form players in the Premier League since then, haven't, haven't they? So what do you make of him? And uh, can you see him holding down a place in City's starting lineup now? Because he's been in and out of the, the team, really, hasn't he? I think it's been evident for a while. He's been in the starting lineup for a, a while, obviously. Phil Foden's been the one that's who's obviously dropped out more often than not. Um, this is his best game for City by far. He was like a man possessed in this game and you you nailed it perfectly, Mike. I think there's been a lot of games where he's almost been kind of a little bit too cautious, I think, in how he wants to, to play the game. And I think he actually ne he actually played the perfect game in terms of recycling possession and actually really trying to affect the game. And you could see, especially obviously when he got the assist and the goal, he looked like the player that we know he can be and the one that we actually saw, obviously, when he first came into the England team. He 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 really now, is the penny drop? That's the question because he really needs to take it upon himself to actually affect games every single week, whether he's obviously scoring, whether he's an assist, and he needs to put that pressure on himself to say, you know, I'm good enough. I should be scoring these goals. I should be making goals every single game because we know he's got the talent. That's the thing. But do you know what the biggest change I think is, and what's worked out really well for him, and it seems mad to say, Jao Cancelo leaving. Because all of a sudden, that wing is his to attack. Mm. And he hasn't got... It felt like really often he was playing the ball 
to Cancelo for him to provide the ball in. And now they've got a much more defensive left back playing there. It's almost like he's got that freedom again and it's up to him to express that side and use that side wisely. And that seems to have just given him the world of confidence. It's like Pep has backed him by saying, I don't need an attacking player in that area. You can go and do that now. And that's that's a massive thing, I think, for the development of his game. (laughs) 